wait very much says that this is my work my work is to transform the situation with my light my work is to take the situation with my light so you are blind you cannot see but i am employed to work such work i will display I will illustrate with my works. In 2024, God said that in your darkness, I will work on light. If it's a darkness of disease, it will be healing. If it's a darkness of confusion, it will be peace. If it's a darkness of oppression, it shall be deliverance. If it is a darkness of satanic attack, you will be delivered. It is my work. I work your works. We don't care what 2024 is your work. We In know Jesus our Jesus is ready to work. Amen. And let your presence be revealed to us. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be honored. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, we all welcome to this morning service. Say, Jesus is in his house. Jesus is in his house. That's what I say. Yes, what if he Yes, what if he Nano pay obey in Shira Mamenewo. Nano pay obey in Shira Amamenewo. Tell your brother or sister you are not living the same. You are not living the same. He's ready to do a new thing. To do a new thing. Amen. Amen. Welcome your brother or your sister. And let's go straight to the word. song on my heart, I want to sing it before we go to the word. Jesus, we are me booted in. Jesus, we are me When you look at buildings, when you look at big trees, when you look at all the huge structures, there is a part that is hidden nobody sees. It is called foundation. Let's say together foundation. Foundation. If it's a building, we call it foundation. If it's a tree, we call it the roots. Let's say the roots. The roots. When storms are blowing and trees are falling apart, trees that have very deep roots, they stand strong. Amen. When winds or hurricanes are blowing over nations, buildings that have very solid, deep-rooted foundations, they stand strong. So when you look at our lives, there should be a foundation, there should be a root. And who is that foundation and who is that root? Jesus. If your root and your foundation is yourself, you will fall. If your root and your foundation are men, you will be disappointed. If your root and foundations are things, you can lose them. If your root and foundation is money, it can fly away. But if your root and foundation is found on Jesus, the solid rock, then you can stand. Then you can endure. Amen. 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 Near Emmen, we are in Jina Ho, a wong hini. Rafa Kasem, the Akan is a root. Enti a humbebo and from Mapay, she, she, but not the Anijina Ho. A son said, The Anin Hini, a cock assassin. And maybe Ohio, Shrepe, Behini, 
not here. And from my free, not a form. And I won't nine swat. And now you see the cockro tin tin tin. Your party be a kind of self foundation. And no she form. And I'm a boy. Foundation in ya. And from my boy, not an idea. Sounds to know a brabo. And so we'll fap him. And so we'll hini. And so we'll foundation. A ye ye super. Catch on your man in ye super. Man in ye ye super. A quiet woo nip it, yeah, yeah. And check. No worry, I say. A quiet nip on soir. Obey do him up. A quiet near my woa. It to me, you're right. It to me say. A quiet pussy can't be out there, sir. Sabi, 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 I crumb for to me, baby. Bassafa Pimno. And then he didn't obey a year, sir. Would you not hope painting a Amen. Let's read our introductory scripture. Ephesians chapter 3. All other ground is sinking sun. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 17. Okay, let's start from 16, 17, 18, and 19. Let's all read it together. That he will grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. Verse 17. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love. Now, not verse 17. Rooted and what? Grounded in love. Verse 18. May be able to comprehend with all saints breath and length, length and, and depth, depth and, and height. height. And to know, know the, love the love of Christ, Christ which passeth knowledge, knowledge that, that ye you might, might be filled, filled with, with all, all the fullness, fullness of, of God. God. Amen. Amen. Let's read our next scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. First Corinthians 3, verse 11. Let's go. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Let's read it again. For other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Yes, that's in fear. Or say, Nafa Pimbia knew her and Kafa Pimaya to Dada. If you look at the tense, he says that for there is no other foundation. That any man can lay apart from what is laid. For pim be any wa wun ni pa be to me a to eka for pim dada na ya to ah eye Jesu Christo amen. What it means is that a foundation has been laid, and it's in the person of Jesus. Tell your brother the foundation has been laid. 
a foundation has been laid. And it's in the person of Jesus. And it's in the person of Jesus. The foundation is not the person of your pastor. The foundation is not in the person of your bishop. The foundation is not in the person of how intelligent you are. The foundation is in the person of Jesus and it has already been laid. Fapemno yatun dada. Fapemno enye wo sofo. Fapemno enye wo difo. Fapemno enye sabi wa sorry din. Fapemno eye Yesu Christo. Onu ni fapemno yatun dada. And Tinia Uyen in Anno and Petrisa for Pimno. Bisonia, what say near Sofokan? What say near Sofokan? We are a generation, we are reinventing our own foundations. And the danger we are creating is that we are building huge things that have weak foundations, they will not last. Yabaya Nipa Yatunimuni, our young Sassin Troyan. Enti ya ya to ye fapem ena ya pen tamasi niam bia enyi na so ne nya yesu eni eni da so e be dure go ka se yesu we e mobbo yesu we e mobbo we are in hurry to lay our own foundations we are in hurry ye pre yeah, Pentum. I can use you. Amen. And when you read it in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20, because you need to give it a balance. Ephesians 2, verse 20. Let's read Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. Built, I want to hear you read it together. Let's go. And, and are, are built upon, upon the, foundation the foundation of, of the, the apostles and the prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the, the chief cornerstone. At verse 21 to 22. In whom all the building fitly framed together groweth Unto an a holy temple, temple in, in the, the Lord, Lord, in whom ye also, also are built together for an habitation of God through the, the Spirit. Spirit. Let's read verse 22 in Amplified, verse 22, and let's read it slowly. Verse 22 him. in Him. And, and in, in fellowship, fellowship with, with one, one another, another, you yourselves also are being built up into the structure with the rest to form a fixed abode, dwelling place of God in, by, through the Spirit. So what God's aim is to build a habitation for himself. Tell your brother and sister a habitation for himself. A habitation for himself. Nyamitri mu po kesiye ni se. O pebebi atina. O pebebi aedei. Atina. But the building must have foundation. And he talked about apostles and prophets. Then he introduced a word. Cornerstone cornerstone when the word cornerstone is used the masons will tell us when they were building when we were building the structure we laid cornerstones those are the pillars if you remove the cornerstone nothing supports the roofing and everything will come down and when we were also doing the foundation, a lot of iron rods, isn't it? A lot of concrete. So that it gives strength to the structure. If you are called an apostle, if you are called a prophet, 
Your primary calling is to refer people to the cornerstone. And who is the cornerstone? Jesus. So your deep force, oh yes, and Pakeni. Well, friend, in your so Cassian, he said, Many penny, and who you saw, yes, suffer never pim. Any penny big dinner will be do heaven. Amen. So these two scriptures, I'll come back to this scripture when we are doing another study on the way. But the point that I'm making is that there is only one foundation. It is Jesus. Apostles and prophets, we refer people to Jesus who is the true foundation, not us. Catch on the answer. Apostle, say a friend would default, say a friend would deben bishop. What do you say? You can never be that foundation. Amen. Amen. Are we okay with the foundation? Yes. He went on to talk about we are fitted and framed together and we become a holy temple. It is not a holy temple because there's a structure. It is not a holy temple because there is a name, Essentials of Christ. It is a holy temple when the foundation is Christ. Most people don't know that. You can't say a crumb crumb beer and you dying way I come with it. And then you're sorry, the ECM. And then you're sorry, sorry, so for me, you know, hey, so for me, you're sorry, you're sorry, and then my sorry, you're crumb crumb beer. I yes, you did it, Juma. Amen. For Pimni and Nipa, and Nipa no one, sir. For Pimni and Bussuma, Bussum no one, sir. For Pimni and Malama, Malam no one, by a Fapimni, yes, born summer, yes, or bear Fapim. So anytime you move to church, like we meet here, you come to meet your foundation. Monday to Friday, you are relating to your foundation because your foundation is not a structure. He is a person. Did you hear me? Your foundation is who? It's a person. Amen. Amen. Anywhere you go, serving others, providing services you are there with your foundation and what is his name jesus and the last thing i will say from that same scripture he used a word and i want to introduce that word then we will look at where we were going he says that in whom? Now the word whom there, who is he talking about? In Christ. Christ. You are built. In Christ. Do you know why somebody will say I'm born again 10 years, you don't see any growth? He's not in Christ. Mm. So he cannot be built. Mm. We are building weaklings, weaklings, big titles, empty. Big showmanship, empty. Big costumes, empty. Because we are not founded on a rock. But today, God is going to restore us back. Amen. I said, the moon, and now, a dining dinner. Now, you know, so why is the moon? The moon is the moon. 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 And today, then I hear ye, but I'm more than be a new hope. It's not saying you know, so I'm not even more than banu. It will yes, mu, and ne, yemra ye fapim. Amen. Ah, oh ye yes, mu chay. Amen. 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 So let's go back to our Ephesians three. I want us just to. Dwell on verse 17. Let's all read verse 17 together. Ephesians 3, 17. That Christ may dwell in, in your, your hearts, hearts by, by faith. faith. 
that, that he, being rooted and grounded in love. Add verse 18, because it's, a, it's an unfinished sentence. Okay. May be able to comprehend with all saints what is their breadth and, and the length and, and the depth and, and the height. Verse 19. And, and to, to know the, the love of Christ, Christ which passeth knowledge, knowledge, that ye might, might be filled with all the fullness, fullness of, of God. God. Now, I want you to understand a principle. And if you understand this principle, you are set for life. Catch on, you say, Me betrew a dear beer. Unya hunti asia. Abrabono. Uninyami. Enanti. Eduetri. What is the principle? The first one is our roots and our ground is in love. Verse 17. Let's read it in the Amplified. Verse 17. Let's all go. May Christ through your faith actually dwell settle down abide make his permanent home in your hearts may you, may you be rooted deep in love and, and founded securely on love amen amen now when you got born again christ came to dwell in you because you became his temple first corinthians 3 16 1 Corinthians 6, 16 and 19 and Colossians 1, verse 27. And Mra Yesu did down kwaba on channel. O ma wuni pediani be na sorry dying into a better now. Catch on say yesu timimu. Yesu timum. And unti niawa bet na wumuni say Ma O dam me wa ma wunu emme ye wuhini. My study for today starts. The enemy has lied to God's people. So the one who came to dwell in you, you think he hates you. You think he doesn't like you. You think he doesn't love you. You think he's in to get you. You think he's in to destroy you. You even think he's in to take advantage of you. And some even think he's lucky to get accommodation. This morning I came to announce to you, the one who came to dwell in you, he loved you. Amen. We are born again. We are born again. Why do you send your two? Munu? On Pawasam and Yamba. What do you yell, sell town? What do you yell, say, near Fong when I'm fun? A year be cried, Jenny, said, Yes, what better know what must say? All best is you won. Now, why you won, Yadua? Now, Brother Cassam, why exploit you won? He has come to dwell in you with his love. Amen. Is it clear up to this point? Then he went on to say something very important. That you must be rooted deep in that love. Now let's do a little recap. When did Jesus decide to love me? Let's go to Romans chapter 5. Time being, and I Jesus, yeah, now Jenny said, or me. Romans 4, Uma, 18. May betrothal. Or draw near or two, Munuwa Mao. 
Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Just verse 8, we'll leave the others. Let's all read it together. Let's go. But God commended his love toward us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So when did he decide to love me and you? Time may and a yes, yeah, not gonna say. Yeah, man, sir. I was here, middle. Time may. When we were sinners. I want to hear you. When? When we were sinners. Was it when we were church members? No, please. When we were pastors? No, please. When we were church elders? No, please. When we were holy? <laughs> when? When we were sinners. When? When we were sinners. Emre pay and a yesu. Ephesians chapter 2. It's a Bible study. Walk with me. Trust the Spirit of God to another. Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 4. Verse 4 and 5. Let's read it together. If chapter 2, verse 4 and 5. We can read it in the Amplified, please. Let's but, read it together. Let's go. But, but God. So, but God. So but God. Rich. Let's say, but God. But God. If it but men, they will love yeah. you. You don't meet their criterion for love. Hmm. But but God, if you read from verse 1 to 3, we were in a horrible state. We were dead in our trespasses. We were under the spirit of disobedience. We were under the wrath of God. But God, let it be what rings over your mind. But God, but God, let's continue. So rich is, is he, he in, in his, his mercy, mercy because of, of that and in order to, to satisfy, satisfy the, the great, great and, and wonderful and intense love with, with which, which he, he loved. loved us. Now look at the description of his love. Let's pick the words. Great. What is the first description? The great. great. The second description is wonderful. 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 The last word he used, intense love. Deep, intense. Now, these descriptions, we use it when people qualify for our love. If my wife cooks well, if my wife respects me, then my life can be described as great, wonderful, and intense. Isn't it? When somebody is nice, is kind, is friendly, then we can describe great, wonderful, intense. But we were sinners. We hadn't, we hadn't done anything to merit, to qualify. But he still said, I choose to love you with my great love with my wonderful love with my intense love strangely when you got born again and he came to dwell in your heart you think he has changed so now his love towards you is no longer great it's no longer wonderful it's no longer intense is that true is that true maybe i'm telling you i'm a when he decided to show me this love, which is great, wonderful, and intense, I was a sinner. I was a sinner. I was a sinner. Now that I'm born again and I've become a son, 
we begin to listen to the devil and we think his love is no longer great. His love is no longer wonderful towards me. His love is no longer intense for me. Is that the truth? Yes or no? Papa, do you mean I'm yet born in you know? I said, do I mean what I'm And we are true. And now my baby and the panel, but on some me can't trust them. He said, on no me pio, a yampa. A yampa. Me yampa, who no? no. Me don't interest you. And he said, a yampa. And now my baby and the panel, on no me pio, a yampa. A yampa. Me pesa me tone, a yampa. A yampa. Me don't know what I'm no. And me don't know what I'm doing. And me don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. A wood door, and now me bear in the banner. Odona sisa, a yampa. Why in the H and Trotter are doing? Who is the one lying to us? So this morning you are in church, you feel unloved, you feel forsaken, you feel dejected. But I came to encourage you. There is a lover inside you. His love is great. You can depend on that love. His love is wonderful. You can depend on that love. His love is intense. And when you look at the last expression, highlight it for me, with which he loved us. And if you don't build on that foundation, you are the mercy of so many things. I can always predict what will happen when I analyze you to see how you understand this. And I've realized that most people don't understand this. You can be in church for 100 years. How many years? 100 years. One, two, a But I know be any more than the Amen. I don't feel me too much. Say, Meba, Unya, who me crana me don't know what to do. Unya, who me crana me don't know what to And say, Sat, what do you mean, me? He says, Me. So I don't make sure I know. No one need me. When you're in trouble, for people in two ways, I say, "I'm better not sorry them in your heart." Oh, Nim say yes to do. But I need you to move up, Papa. Need do. Amen. Amen. Lift your right hand and talk to the one who loves you. Tell him that Lord, I'm privileged to be loved by you. I just say yes to. I have me a one who so would you me a dummy. Lift your right hand, please. And just tell him, what great love, what wonderful love, what intense love. We are grateful, Lord. We appreciate you. Amen. Let's read the next verse. Verse 5 and 6, the same Ephesians 2. Verse 5 and 6. Not in the Amplified. King James will do, a, will do that same. Let's go. Even, Even when, when we, were we were dead, dead in, in our sins, sins he has, has quickened us, us together, together with, with Christ. Christ. By, By grace are you are saved. saved. And has, has raised, raised us, us up together. together and, and made us sit together, together in, in the heavenly, heavenly places, places in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. In the world, you know, has done something to us. And now, now, yeah, yeah. No, I call who I want. He did it for us. But on summer, yes, has raised us, has made us. Yes, you know, why, yeah. And you know, yeah, yeah, fap him, no. Amen. Amen. Out of love, he raised us together. Out of love, he made us to sit together. Out of love, he calls us to be above principalities and powers. Yes, in Hawaii. Amen. Amen. Now, if he did all this for me when I was a sinner, how come when he came to dwell in me, he cannot do anything? Papa no was a son, I'll be sorry, I was a son. Not the answer. Has he changed? No, please. So who has changed? Why not, sir? But your wine as a sap. Wine as a sap. Quite a man's on the water, sir. 
What's that it ye I been a fun? I mean on the wo Jana Chidi. I mean on you know Jana Chidi. Catch on as all that thou or that or that thou. He's just tricking you. The last thing we want to look at God's love that we come back to our scripture. Maybe let me just quote it so that we don't end up reading all the scriptures. But when you read it in Acts chapter 20, I'm quoting. Paul was talking about what Jesus did. And he says that he purchased his church with his own blood. As if not in the moja and not the day or the toy. And to yes, you do know. On a humo bro, and your daughter a more do. Nay, one one. Na a donny mupino. On a sad donno so at the tall. No cotono, one fesca. Or the nemoja. Catch on your sword in the moja. When he went to the market to buy you out from the enemy, he used his blood. Not the blood of animals. Not the blood of your pastor. But his blood. That is why he's a foundation. Amen. Papa ni dono tre yenu. E ye don nam ni muja o shiegu yesu. E de tre ni do. Me ba cho. Sa ukuru si odo me boa. O yere si odo me boa. Bisa so beti me yere ni muja ama. Bisa ni bisa so tonche ya. I said, not lie. Your spouse can tell you I love you. But ask him or her, can you shed your blood for me? <laughs> People can tell you they love you. Will they shed their blood for you? <laughs> but when I was a sinner, when I didn't know him, when he wanted to give me something so precious, he gave me his blood. What love. What love. Odo be in ye. Semro pa de be a tom in one fa abu a moja. One fa ni pa moja. Ono had in the moja na the children ni do. Papa ni do ni mo do ampa. Amen. Amen. Ni do no so esumbo se a de ni na. Bebre enti we a se. But then I mean, crunk crunk my hands and tears. Amen. 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 I'll recommend a song. Obo, daughters of glorious Jesus, they sang those songs so many years ago. Moko real mo old songs, you know. One of them not to know. Odo beini, wasem di aneso, di jimin kwa ene yento sa nyumno. For, for Michael and I to be bear we bear we was a dear nestle. The that is how he demonstrated his love. He didn't do it because you were coming to church, he didn't do it because you were paying your tithe, he didn't do it because you carried a title, he did it because it was a choice he made towards you. Now that he abides in you, he hasn't changed. Amen. He says that, my son, I want to show you more of that love. I want to show you more of that love. I want to, but will you permit me? That is where we are. This, will you permit me? So you are in church. But in your mind, Jesus has rejected you. How can you be rooted and grounded in that love? You are in church. You think Jesus is fighting you. How can you be rooted and grounded in that love? You think Jesus is not your competitor. Any good thing, he takes it away from you. How can you be rooted and grounded in love? Why do you have to know too, Munu? Or no, yeah, prayer, prayer, at the papa, be a no, yes, in chain. And to me, Cassa, Wunini, engine on the tonum, I don't want to the moon, yeah. But I catch on your son, Miss Summer Dream, catch and catch a miss. Miss Summer Dream. That is how he showed his love. But he hasn't changed. 
Tell your brother or sister he hasn't changed. He hasn't changed. So now let's go back to Ephesians 3. We'll tie it up there. I'm sure maybe next week we'll continue. Ephesians 3. When you are rooted, when you are grounded in love, it is all that I've explained. That be your roots. That be your foundation. And I'll give you practical examples. We will not finish today. Do you know why most people get so offended when people reject them? They've never found this love. So they are looking for love from people. So any small rejection, I'm offended. Offenses. Get ready for more. Go and open your gate. More is coming. Catch on your other. More is coming. But when you build your life on this love, you can forgive and move on quietly. Amen. Do you know why people cannot forgive each other? And they add, we in our hometown, we don't forgive. You are in Christ's town, we forgive. Amen. Amen. Throw away that rubbish. You are in the kingdom of Christ. Bible describes it as the kingdom of light. We forgive. Because we were once forgiven. Amen. Amen. Most people haven't understood this. And what you don't understand, you can't give. Last week I was telling you about if you hate your brother, you are walking in darkness. But I realize that you can't love somebody when you haven't received this love I'm talking about. And most people, they haven't received this love, so they can't give. In fact, when you meet people who offend others, mistreat others, are unkind to others, don't do the same thing to them. Have pity. They've not understood this thing. They've not understood it. They've not understood it. Who should be and talk one who Baby, Bia, Macau, Matu, Macau, Matu. I am with the mob, I did wait until I say. Because now, until I say, no, what to me from Monia, Anna? If you have not received this love, you can't give it to somebody. You can't what? Give it. Give it. Last three days, we went for a program somewhere. And I met someone. My wife will know the person. And he needed. Well, I, I, my, we were just, there's a big crowd, and I was doing a, a check. I, I, I do those checks anytime. Immediately I saw the person, I asked, How is, what is going on in my heart? I realized there was peace, there was joy. Then I asked, do you want to meet him? I said, oh, willingly. Then I said, can you go? I went with my friends, we engaged, and there was no ill feeling. I told God I really healed. Do you know why? No, I, he, she understands the detail. I don't give the detail publicly. But you see, if you don't work on your heart, when you meet people, anger. That's our comments also. You haven't healed. You haven't healed. Now I come But when you are healed, when you meet people like that, you want to be gracious. Because you want to forgive. You want to love. love when you didn't deserve it. But when you don't understand what I'm teaching you, when you meet people, you are calculating how you can retaliate. It is reflecting your background. But now in Christ, your background has changed. Amen. Then the last thing. We would have read all those scriptures, but maybe next week we'll look at it. Do you know the reason why people are quarrelsome? When they for pentokwa, they don't like themselves. They don't what? Onoto onom pentu. Into akun tokwa no enya importance kakra. 
But yes, Amen. You don't need to fight to assert how important you are. His blood has given you that value already. Say, I'm valuable. I'm valuable. I don't need a fight I don't need to show how important I am. Did I be an oko? I said this week, a kuben a beba. A bit new oko, be creative. Because that's how you derive your sense of what? Importance. But in Christ Jesus, you are already valued. Because his blood has conferred that value on you. Say, I'm valued. Oh, say, I'm valued. That's only as I may soon bo. And your money is soon, you know. Near my book, boss, only a quiet old fast who say, A yet man, I yet one. Say, yes, to the Achawa. And young Toka, no, near Kono. But I'm in fancy, my quack, Obisi, my quack, or see me with them. Yes, so fun, child. Obisi, some I'm cramming in the back. Obi Ado, your friend, yes, amen. What is our donny to my, what to me the moonia? Let us me a no. And to quant to quant to quant in Yano, what dream, no? Why only Pediana and your fet? Why one am I your fet? And the else I'll quant to quant and crofer was a warding. There be no ding. Yes, so so, who some Buddha doubt in the Mojanato, amen. No, and to quant to quant and Jim Macho Sam. Yes, when you know your macho that that the Mojaninti, you are valuable, amen. I told me, so I said, yet to try him near. To feel important, that be. And do read it the next verse now, verse eighteen. May the very year ho, but next week near twasu. Verse eighteen, that you will be able to comprehend with all the saints. Odona Yesu ja enya minkuyo eh se eji di efo njira ye tisa dona se niya detina. Did you get me? But when I understand, you don't understand. There's always conflict. But God is going to give us understanding. Amen. Next week, we'll look at that verse and connect it to another verse in First John. I'm going to give a summary to all that we've learned that we'll be praying. Today, we want to pray for the sake. Did you come in sick? And the Ura are now Yaria. Or the full years of the sound Yaria. So, Ura ha not be be at the church of the Virginia. Or the full years of the sound Yaria. So, Ura not be be at the church Maye. <laughs> Are you ready to meet your Lord? Yes. The one who loves me. The summary of all that I said today is that the roots and the foundation that sustains every structure. If your roots and your foundations are weak, you cannot be strong to endure. You will fall on the way. But our root and our foundation is in the person of Jesus. It's not in ourselves. It's not in men. It's not in things. It's in Jesus. And when you know that this one who is your foundation loved you. When you didn't deserve that love. I was a sinner. But he demonstrated great love. Wonderful love intense love when I didn't deserve now that he has come to dwell in me he's ready to do more may we build our roots may we build our foundation on this love Jesus unconditionally gave to us most people are hurting themselves they are hurting others because they haven't understood this love they haven't received this love they are not grounded and rooted in this love. But this morning, if you join me, we will reconnect to our roots. 
we will draw from that love and when we draw from that love, one another we want to serve. One another we want to love. One another we want to give. Not to hate, fight, and cut. Because the love of God has been shared abroad in our hearts by the Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And then a man a dying a general hotel in Mubu. O Christo, you will fap him your years. O fap him in your sofa. O fap him in your sorry. O fap him in your one casano. O fap him your years to a wishiano. Now, yes, ya wishiano. O young one now on a number on him, not dog that that. O don't name more do. O don't name a one more do. O don't know nay or do. A mu eni trasi na mra minim no show sa done ma me a and now wa betena me mu and now ma be ne ba and now me ni pedua be na sorry dan ne done nsa sai e don no wo ma me ni still e mu odu o don no still e ya wa wa don e san san so don wo honti me hini me fa pe Ejin asa o dono so. Ye tisa de we ase a. En tokwa ye ni ye hukuku. Me tim makao. Me chemin ya. Ma ye we. E brase. E san so de a chemin. Timi timi di chemin ya. Ne dono. Abe ye mi yini. A ma brabo. Ejin aso. Anopay. Eni mi mom. Ni ye nyisa o dono. Ni ye mfanante. Nyami en shrae. Next week. Yeah, we're part two. Amen. So trust in your mom, Pai. We want to sing to you a song. La, your love is... Everybody is saying, but he loves you. Maybe you came to church this morning, you think he doesn't love you. He loves you. If you are watching us, you are not born again, either in church, either online. He loves you continually. He says that my covenant of love, I will not break. I will not break Psalm 89. So he doesn't change. He's not like man that responds. His love is constant. If you want to have a relationship with Jesus, if you want to commit your life to him, if you want to receive this gift of eternal life, I want to pray with you. Pray this prayer as your own prayer and receive this gift. It's called the gift of eternal life. If you're also in the auditorium, you don't know Jesus, just lift your hand as we pray with you. Pray this prayer after me. Jesus, I thank you. That on the cross you showed me love. By dying for me, you took my sin, you took my punishment. This morning, I come to you. Let your blood wash me, let your blood cleanse me, let your blood 
Wash me anew. I receive the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name. Amen. God richly bless you. If you pray that prayer sincerely, God has given you eternal life. You are born again. Now, you are in church, but you feel God doesn't love you. You can't say it, but that's the way your mind works. With all our eyes closed, we want to sing the song again. Are the words ready? Then let's just sing the chorus. Jesus, you love me so. Let's sing that part alone. Jesus, you love me so much. Oh, so.